ओके फुट कॉम्ब फुट कॉम्ब फुट कॉम्ब फुट कॉम्ब फुट कॉम्ब फूड कॉम वॉट सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आई कैन टू नेवर मिस अनदर अपडेट Hey guys welcome back to another video and today in this tutorial I am going to be teaching you how you can create the guess the gibberish filter but first of all analytics tell me that 50% of people watching these videos have not subscribed to this channel they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it so if you haven't subscribed yet please do that and click on the bell notifications tab as well now sparkyr is a free software available for both windows and mac the link to download it will be given in the description down below okay first of all let me break Take down the logic of the filter. So there's one intro image which shows you what the filter is all about. Then there's a question and the timer which after some time shows you the answer. Now using the same logic, I'm going to recreate my own filter. Okay, so this is what we'll be recreating today: capital of China. That's Beijing. Okay, so you can see the timer, the answer, the question, the time up, everything is there. So you're gonna recreate this filter. Now it is very important that you understand the logic because using the same logic you can create endless amounts of filters. Also, if you want to get featured on my Instagram stories, do tag me at the rate Ayush Vadva while using Guess the City filter. Let's jump right into the software. So when you open the software, you have plenty of templates that you can explore, but we will explore those in some other video. For now, create a blank project. The interface can be a little daunting at first but I'll guide you through. This right here is the preview panel. You can change what phone aspect ratio you want to preview or filter and you can change the face as well. We'll just go with this one for now. Come on the left, right click and add a face tracker. Then add a plane to the face tracker. In the face tracker, you will see an option to add a new material. Let's do that now. In this, choose a texture and choose the intro image. Now I've made five different elements using Photoshop and Illustrator. First, you will need an intro image which will explain what the filter is all about. Then you need a question design and number it from 1 to whatever number you have. Similarly, make an answers design which is in the exact same order as the question one. Then make a timer series and number them in the opposite direction. For example, your last digit will be 1, second last will be 2 and so on. All these files should be less than 5 to 7 MB. Recommended size of all these files is less than 5 MB. Now let's position and scale the intro layer. Please make sure that you pause from the left bar before you begin to change the position. Now here you will see three options. The first one controls the position in the 3D axis. Let's fix that real quick. The next one is rotation. But we won't be using that as of now. Further, we will change the scale to our preference. This looks about right. Now duplicate the plane layer a couple of times. Name the first one as questions and the second one as answers. Let's assign a new material to the questions layer and name this material as questions. In the questions layer, choose texture and select a new animation sequence. Name this animation sequence as questions. and select your questions file using the choose files option again make sure that everything is in order and named properly let's scale this according to our preferences If the layers are overlapping simply uncheck the visible button in the planes action tab Now let's create a new material for the answers plane
name this material as answers and choose a new animation sequence for this as well. Name this animation sequence as answers. Naming can really help you navigate and fix things if you screw up in the later part of the process. Now choose the answers file from the folder. Again, make sure that they are in the same order as questions. Now go to the questions animation sequence and check the box that says randomize because you want a different question to pop up every time somebody takes a quiz. Now let's quickly place and resize the answers layer. Let's now create the timer. Duplicate the answer layer two times. Name one of them as timer plane and the other one as time up. Now create a new material for timer and choose a new animation sequence. In this animation sequence, select your timer images. Now uncheck the intro and questions layer and adjust the scaling and position of the timer according to your taste. Now create a material for time up and in this texture, choose the time up PNG file. After adjusting and scaling it, make the other layers visible again. Now select all the materials and choose the shader type as flat as all of this is happening on a flat plane. Now go to each texture and check the no compression box. This will optimize your filter for all the platforms including Facebook and Instagram. The design part and the tracking part is all set. Now let's add some logic to the design. Click on view and select show height patch editor. Click and drag the camera from top left into the patch editor and select the video recording node. Now when you hold it, drag it and leave it anywhere on the patch editor, it automatically toggles a new patch dialog box. Now select delay and then connect it to node. Now select all the planes and click on the visible button on the right. This way you'll get all your planes in the patch editor. Attach the not node to intro image and type 2 in the delay which means that the intro will stay on for 2 seconds before showing the questions. Then connect delay directly to questions and the timer plane. Create another delay node from the delay node that you already had and input the timer value in this, which in our case is 7, and then connect the answers plane and the timer plane to this. Now add a pulse node to the initial delay node and connect it to a switch. Then switch on to loop animation and then add the duration as 7 seconds as the timer is 7 seconds long. Then connect progress to frame transition. After this, select all the animation sequences and click on current frame. After you will see all the animation sequences on the patch editor. After adding the value 7, connect the frame transition to timer. Now we're gonna add the final node, runtime. Connect this to offset and connect it to less than and type less than value as 2 which means that the randomization will begin after 2 seconds. Then make a connection to loop animation. 
connect progress to random. Value to round and then round to delay. In delay, type 7 seconds. Finally, connect delay to answers and round to questions. Now set loop animation duration from 0 and add the start value of 0 and end value of 25 in random as we have 25 questions. After this, connect the reset of offset to video recording, which means that the effect will reset every time you press the record button. You are basically done now. You can test the filter by clicking here and sending to the app. This will show up in your Instagram notifications and you'll be able to test your filter. After fixing and finalizing everything, just click on file, then export, and then it'll open up in the browser for you to finally publish your filter. Cool, let's use the filter that we've just made. Capital of China is the same thing again. Okay, um, Beijing, yeah. Ah, okay, it works perfectly fine. I hope you were able to understand everything from the tutorial. But if you still have doubts, do tell me in the comment section down below and I would love to clear them out. I hope you liked the video guys and I hope I was able to add some value in your life. Do share this video with your friends and family so they can learn something new today as well. Also do follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes and also do tag me in your guess the city stories to get featured on my stories. Till then, take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. This is probably the most addictive filter ever. <laughs>